Hey, how's it going? Ed's here and welcome to this lesson. Today we're going to be talking about mindset and uh, a lot of trainers, a lot of coaches will always, you know, keep going back to nutrition, back to diets. Ah, oh, the key is new nutrition. It's about 70% of, you know, the results you achieve is all down to nutrition and um, that's absolutely right. There's, you know, there's no, there's no denying that nutrition plays a huge part. But before we even look into nutrition and before we even look into the training, we have to go a little bit deeper than that. We have to go into your mindset and what's what's going on up here. Okay? Because the key to success is, you know, having that solid mindset to achieve something. Because nothing is easy, you know, nothing is easy in this world, whatever you want to achieve. Whether you want to lose a few pounds, whether you want to gain some muscle, whether you want to get a bit fitter, whatever it is, it is not easy. And you've really got to have the right frame of mind to achieve it. Okay, but why do you think it's so hard for, you know, people to get in shape, to lose weight? Um, most of us know the difference between healthy food and junk food and you know most of us know that in order to lose weight you need to exercise and you need to eat healthy but why do we find it so difficult okay so a lot of it is up here really so one of the first questions I ask a new client or a soon-to-be client in the consultation process is what do you want to achieve and why are you here and that is the key question and normally, uh, I normally get a similar sort of answer. I just want to be a bit fitter. I want to lose a few pounds. I want to lose a bit of weight, um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But then what I like to do is peel back the layers. I like to dig a little deeper. Okay, so why do you want to lose weight? Well, I just want to be a bit fitter and a bit healthier. Okay, cool. And we dig a, bit, a little bit deeper. So why do you want to be a bit fitter? Why do you want to be a bit healthier? I just want to, I just want to look better. Why do you want to look better? Um, I want to feel more confident. Okay, so now we're now we're now we're talking. Now we're now we're finding out the real reasons why you want to lose weight. You want to feel a bit more confident. Uh, why do you want to feel confident? What do you need to feel confident about? Um, and then now you know it might be. Oh, I just want to. I just want to feel sexier in front of my partner. I want to be comfortable going on holiday and and taking my t-shirt off or wearing a bikini. So now we're digging into the real reasons why you want to lose weight. And that is really, really important. Um, and it's important for me as a coach that I know the answers to these questions because that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna keep you on track. That's what's gonna help me to keep you on track. Okay, and that's what's gonna help you to stay on track. If we always keep tacking, tapping back into that real reason why you want to do this, uh, that's what's gonna keep you going. That's what's gonna make you successful in the long term because now we're tapping into the real reason we're tapping into the confidence we're tapping into you know we're tapping into things that make you feel slightly uncomfortable talking about okay and these are only things that you want to kind of bottle them up and keep them to yourself but you need to you need to kind of let them out you need to address these issues because like i say these are the things that are going to keep you keep you on track and then and keep you going when you you know when times get tough and when you when you don't want to go to the gym when you don't want to get that workout done um, or you decide to you know eat that whole half a cake or whatever it is you know you have to go back to the reasons why why do you want to lose weight okay and what's stopping you from losing weight another key question I ask at the beginning of taking on a new client is how important are your goals to you because I need to find out your your priorities and why they're important to you. And you know, I normally ask this on a scale of one to ten. How how important is your goals to you? I mean, if you anything less than an eight or a nine, then you know I, I I'll send you on your way because it's not really important enough for me to even take you on as a client because I know you're not serious enough to put in the work. You know, your goals have to be you have to really prioritize, and you know. That's why I like to peel back those layers and dig deep because, you know, just losing a bit of weight is not enough or just getting a bit fitter and healthier is not enough to keep you on track, you know. But to feel attractive to your partner, to, you know, keep your marriage alive, to feel confident on the beach in front of your friends um, without, you know, feeling 
uncomfortable about your belly hanging out or, or looking, you know, being the only, only one of your group of mates that are out of shape. These are things that are going to trigger pain points. And like I said, they're the ones that are going to keep you motivated to stay on track. So how important are your goals to you? Is it a 9 or 10 or even more than that? You know, are your goals more important than, you know, going, going to the pub on a Friday night with your mates? You know, are they more important than, you know, eating half a packet of biscuits? Now, I'm not saying don't treat yourself. It's important that we have that balance in our lives. I'm not saying don't ever go out again or don't ever eat any junk food. By all means, you, need to, you do need to be doing that because, you know, I don't expect anyone to be teetotal, never go out again and just eating super clean foods all the time. You need that little balance. Otherwise, again, it's not very healthy and, and again, you won't stick with to the plan so it's all about moderation and doing things in moderation but you need to prioritize your goals okay you need to stick with whatever it takes to get you to your goal you need to stick with that about 85 90 percent of the time okay you can't let the times when you you know you are going out to the pub um, you are having half a packet of biscuits you're going out for a burger um, you're meeting up with mates again, whatever it is, whatever social things get in the way, whatever things get in the way of your fitness or weight loss or transformation goals, you need to make sure that that is only a small part and you know, you're not doing it all the time. Like I say, you need to stick to the plan about 85, 90% of the time to be successful in reaching those goals. There's a great video on YouTube by Eric Thomas. If you've never heard of Eric Thomas, have a look for him. And uh, this video is called How Bad Do You Want It? And it's a really powerful, really, really motivational and uh, inspiring video. Um, and Eric Thomas tells a story of a young man who, who hired a guru to, um, because he wanted to be rich, he wanted to make six figures and he wanted to be successful. And uh, so he hired this guru and he said to the guru, I want to be as successful as you. So the guru said, okay, that's fine. Uh, meet me down at the meet beach tomorrow morning. And the young man's thinking, why does he want me to meet him down at the beach? But they met up anyway, and, uh, and the guru went out into the water, and he said to the young man, come out to the water, and he dragged him out to the water, took him out a little bit further until his water, the water was up here to his neck, and then he held his head under the water. Okay, he held his head until he, until he was like about to pass out, and then he pulled the, the young man up and he said to him, when you was underwater, what did you want? And the young man said, I just wanted to breathe. And the, uh, the moral of the story was, the guru said, if you want to be successful if, as much as you want to breathe, um, when you want to succeed as badly as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. So that's about, this is kind of the point I was hitting. It's all about making those priorities. And your success in reaching your goals has to be a top priority. You want to, you have to want to achieve it badly as you want to breathe, and then you would definitely be successful. If you're a little bit wishy-washy about your goals, yeah, it's about five or six, um, then that's not powerful enough for you to make it happen. You really got to want it, and you know, it's, it's like 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 Eric Thomas said in the video, if you want to succeed as badly as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. So yeah, just to summarize, yes, exercise is important. Yes, nutrition is very important and plays about 70% of the results you achieve. But like I say, you don't need me to tell you that. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You don't need to spend, you know, your hard-earned money in working with me for you to, for me to tell you that because you already know that. The difference is between success and failure is what's going on up here, the mindset. So good luck. If you need any help with anything, feel free to drop me an email. You can catch me at info at edfit.co.uk. Head over to my website, www.edfit.co.uk. Sign up to my free newsletter for more fitness and training, nutrition, mindset advice. And I look forward to speaking with you soon.